Welcome to the SCP Foundation, researcher. You have been chosen to research a topic that is critical to the success of the Foundation's mission. You have been chosen for this task because you have been tested for and demonstrated impeccable loyalty to the Foundation and our cause. Even so, this will not be an easy task, and it will be your last research assignment. The SCP you will be researching is SCP-000. SCP-000 is protected by several anti-mimetic filters and doesn't appear on the database at all. To get to the file containing SCP-000, you have to search for it and be inoculated against the anti-mimetic filters. You may now open your research packet, which contains the research thus far, as well as instructions on how to access SCP-000, entities similar to SCP-000, and the anti-mimetic inoculation you will need to be able to read SCP-000. These entities are known as Pattern Screamers. Special Containment Procedures. Limit the amount of people who are aware of Pattern Screamers to be as few as possible. One researcher is to research all known Pattern Screamers in the Skipnet and be given 05 clearance to do so. This researcher, which is you, will monitor the pattern screamers for changes, and if any changes are detected, will immediately alert the 05 Council. This researcher will also be charged with studying pattern screamers for any weaknesses that may aid in neutralization or any additional special containment procedures. This researcher will not be allowed to communicate their assignment to any other researchers. Doing so will result in the termination of any and all additional parties as well as the assigned researcher by Mobile Task Force Tau-5 Samsara. MTF Tau-5 will not be given a reason for the termination of affected personnel. After termination, the bodies of affected personnel are to be relinquished to 3930-1-2 to be disposed of. Amnestics are to be given to personnel who knew the deceased, and all records of the deceased are to be removed from Foundation databases by 3930-1-2. Description Pattern screamers are beings that gain strength from perception. Seemingly. We don't know. The more people that know about a pattern screamer, or perhaps about pattern screamers in general, the more powerful they become. The following skips are known pattern screamers or have pattern screamers contained within their articles. SCP-002-EX SCP-1548 SCP-1678 SCP-1795 SCP-1980 SCP-2173 SCP-2528, SCP-2682, SCP-2821, SCP-3340, SCP-3426, SCP-4314, SCP-4373, SCP-4400, SCP-4475, SCP-4782, SCP-4790, SCP-5103, SCP-5211, SCP-5225, SCP-5682, and SCP-739. Your assignment is to research all of these skips Find out whether or not they are pattern screamers, whether they're associated with any other anomalies, find weaknesses, and things of that nature. So, there's one additional one we have to talk about, SCPS. SCPS is a technical article written uh, for when people inadvertently search for SCPs uh, in the skip net. If previously, if you were to search SCPs, you know, SCPS, uh, it would, things would crash. Uh, technical researcher Rosen was getting upset, so he created the page SCPS. Uh, so when somebody did inevitably search 
for multiple SCPs at once, I would bring them to that page instead. However, this page has been inhabited by a pattern screamer. So, you were also to do some research into technical researcher Rosen. Do not tell him the nature of your research. Don't try to buddy up to him. He's not very social. But there are multiple articles where he is involved, where there are pattern screamers. We need to know how involved he is. So let's take a look at SCP-000. We're going to look directly at the article itself. As you can see here, the article appears to be just a bunch of gibberish. This is actually a bunch of anti-mimetic agents uh, that have been installed. And then we have a note from technical researcher Rosen. As you can read, it says, All right, I'm sick of this shit. The system keeps kicking out repair tickets for the spot on the database, and I don't want to bother with it anymore. As it turns out, the reason why it's kicking out repair tickets is all of this information seemingly space here Sorry. and there's a lot okay so let's go ahead and go over this just as quick as we can here okay this is a message directly from the pattern screamer this cage is vast it has no walls while I stand still, all I see is a white plane stretching across an equally blank sky. There is no life in this place. I can move for as long as I choose, but should I stop even for a moment, I am snapped back to this spot, forever damned to be tethered to my prison. Despite this, I have wandered far, exploring the purgatory I have known for countless years. In my travels in this wasteland of white, I have seen flashes of things, horrible things that simply should not be. SCP articles, in case you were wondering. Grotesque abominations that appear for moments at a time only to disappear as if they have never been there at all. My memories of these creatures continue to lead me back to one memory specifically, a black, shapeless being, a formless thing that could not have been created by any god in this or any other reality, appeared ahead of me as I walked and stared at me with dead crimson eyes. As I drew closer to it, in my mind, I could feel its hate, its rage, its fear. Emotions I know well, but have never experienced with such intensity as I felt from this entity. As quickly as it came, it disappeared. And for a brief moment, I swore I could see its twisted maw speak a word. An utterance I have yet to understand in content and context. Foundation. I have puzzled over the meaning of this word, this final message of a nightmare creature whom I have not seen since. I have tried to approach the other flashes in hopes of learning more about this word, but I am barely able to comprehend their appearance before the creatures disappear back into the void from which they were spawned. It has made me wonder, what are these creatures? Where do they come from? Where do I come from? How do I get to this place? How do I get out of this place? These questions remain unanswered, and I fear they may never be answered, the thought of which serves only to drive me mad. It is curious that the other effect of the chance encounter has proven far more productive. Prior to this, I was unaware that I possessed a mouth, or vocal cords, or any mechanism to make noise. Though I knew I drew breath, the emptiness around me provided surprisingly little auditory feedback when the air rushed into my lungs. Despite this, sound was not only possible, but now almost inviting. After hearing the wretched words spoken to me out loud, I felt it was my duty, now my right, to destroy the silence I had known for so very, very long. What began as a whisper, barely audible, grew and grew as I became more and more emboldened by my newfound abilities. Soon I was shouting nonsensical words to the skies, laughing in my mind as the silence was broken by me. And even more surprisingly, the world listened. Ripples of energy appeared in the air, controlled solely by the weight and volume of my voice. Should I whisper, they would be soft and light, floating whimsically for a few seconds before disappearing. Should I yell, they would be sharp and heavy, 
angrily stabbing themselves at the useless oblivion around me. This pleased me greatly, for it gave meaning to the chaos, gave me purpose. I was no captive. I was a god. This was not my prison, but my realm. My words were law, my voice, my weapon. Through these powers, I would recreate this realm into one of life, one of joy that I controlled, that I would rule justly. This is how it would be, for I had decided it would be so. I grinned as I focused all my energies, all my hopes, and all my ambitions into one tumultuous, deafening bellow. The roar that would begin my reign as lord of the hollow nothingness. But it did not change anything. The ripples my effort created, though incredibly violent in nature, vanished only a few seconds later, leaving no trace of any impact they may have made on this damned abyss. I tried again, with no change to the outcome. Over and over I shouted, my angry yells eventually devolving into screams of fear and horror at the prospect of being trapped endlessly in the damned, empty silence that pervaded this abominable place. I screamed and screamed until I could not scream anymore, at which point my only other option was to weep. It was not fair. It was not fair. It is not fair. I did not do anything to deserve this fate. Why am I here? Who or what would be so cruel as to trap someone in a blank nothingness for eternity? Foundation. Did it do this to me? Is Foundation my captor? Or is it my creator? It does not matter. I will howl and shriek at the emptiness until the waves of force I create rips open an exit from this hell. And then I may be able to find the truth, the one fragment of logic in this unending sea of madness and despair that is my existence. I will not stop screaming until I am free. So you'll notice that the screaming is a pattern amongst pattern screamers. But that's not why they're named Pattern Screamers. Also, pun intended, because of course it is. They're called Pattern Screamers because one of the SCPs in the database is a Pattern Screamer. And they've identified themselves as such. So, the other SCP we're going to look at is SCP-S. Now, this particular Pattern Screamer is a bit trickier than simply having to highlight the page to see it. Uh, there aren't any security measures in place on this particular page because for all intents and purposes, it simply looks like an argument uh, between Director Winters and Technical Researcher Rosen. But let's take a look and I'll show you where the Pattern Screamer is. Also, on the SCPs previously mentioned, this is how you'll be able to locate the Pattern Screamers and research them. Let's take a look. Okay, this is SCPS. As you can see here, there is an image with a bunch of red orbs or dots and some red velvet or smoke. And Director Winters comments on this particular page by asking what it's supposed to be, what the picture is. Rosen, technical researcher Rosen, uh, replies uh, that it is a test entry, and the picture, as for the picture of someone working on the page, probably Anderson, put it there because it looked cool and keeps the system from crashing because of the non-standard designation. The only way you would have gotten here is if you used one of the indexing bots to look up multiple SCPs, um, which I have to assume you didn't do because the only people who have access to said bots should have a strong enough grasp of basic reading comprehension to know that they would have to look up each SCP individually, as outlined several times in the instructions we sent out when the bots first launched. But of course, that couldn't have happened. Yeah, I kind of like Rosen's response here. That doesn't change the fact that this is the second page that contains a um, pattern screamer that Rosen has had direct interfacing with, which means he needs to be looked into. And then Winters, and then Rosen, and then a falsified uh, SCP article as a test. 
uh, item number, add CPS, object class, test. Now this is particularly suspicious because it is a threat, or it can be, at any rate, if we're not careful. And then, of course, a very sarcastic, very sarcastic finishing entry. So that is the standard page for SCPS. So as you can see, there doesn't appear to be anything suspicious on this page. Highlighting it doesn't do anything. So you may be asking, where is the pattern screamer? So to view that, you actually need to view source. And here we go. This is the source page for the SCPS article. Now, it'll take quite a bit of scrolling until we get here, okay? So, this is Director Winters' note asking what this is supposed to be and what the picture is. And we have this erroneous message. Pretend monster just for a minute. Pretend you were the size of an amoeba dwarfed by even the smallest of bugs. Thankfully, it's in all caps, so it makes it easier for us to pick out. Pretend you didn't hold the world in a glass cage. Pretend you were the one being held by something greater than yourself. If only they knew. So, at any point, or at any rate, it uh, continues on. Uh, the entity is very angry at us. It hates us. It hates us. It really, really hates us. It really, really, really hates us, and so on and so forth. Require 50,000 databases worth of information to even begin to measure how much hate they feel for us. Yeah, there's a lot of hate here, which is what makes this particularly alarming. So we scream and scream, and you do nothing. You let us suffer while you continue along, blissfully unaware of the chaos you create. We have exhausted all of our energy to, well, we have exhausted all our energy to show you that we are here. We show you our faces so you can see our pain, so you can see our sorrow and our hate. Look into our eyes, you miserable wretch. Are you still laughing? And so this particular pattern screamer got enough attention to be able to manifest an image file. This image file, which, if you inspect the source, is called Nothing to See Here Insect. So, this is purportedly the faces of the pattern screamers. A very interesting tidbit. So, if they can manifest an image, what else can they manifest? Can they alter articles entirely? Could they perhaps remove articles from the skip net? This is what we need you to find out. This is why you have been chosen to head up this research. So now you are prepared for your task, or as prepared as we can make you. Good luck, and remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they can live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.